Flint, Michigan, the most dangerous city in the U.S., followed by Detroit, St. Louis, and then New Haven. We begin with that breaking news out of New Haven. We have just gotten word that 16 police officers will be getting pink slips from the department tomorrow. It was a show of force from the force. A large section of Church Street was blocked off Thursday morning as more than 200 officers came to protest Mayor John DiStefano's difficult decision to lay off 16 officers. People in New Haven have to start arming themselves, defend themselves, and do whatever they can to protect their property and protect themselves. It's going to be fear city. New Haven is fear city. I advise the public to stay out of New Haven. After such a strong statement, we decided to investigate the situation in New Haven for ourselves. The Guardian Angels have had a presence in New Haven for several years, but the recent and controversial police layoffs have them stepping up their patrols. We wanted to know who should be in charge of public safety. You took 16 trained police officers and it took 17 weeks to train them. The city paid for that. It's a huge loss. My motivation is to help people. I've been doing it for a very long time. And uh, just a, a good feeling. Four years ago, there was 187 reported inc major incidences of crime in this area, and that's down 60% mm -hmm. in four years. So I think that property owners would appreciate us, because their property values have gone up, not down. And just generally, citizens, people have to park their car on the streets, there's no more car break-ins around here, which used to be a lot of car break-ins. Our normal patrol will sweep the whole sector all the blocks in between, and if that actual crime could be committed, we'll stop it. I see somebody breaking into a car. Silent, post up, and I'll point to two guys to come with me. Because if all of us, there'll be too many surrounding the car. And we'll run up on the guy, grab him, and usually he says, this is my car, I can prove it. Right? There's a big hole in the window and a brick laying on the seat. Any type of uh, group like the Guardian Angels or a, a Citizens Action Group or a private security company, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, being, being the eyes and ears for law enforcement, it's helpful. Being a good witness is helpful. I think there's, there's room for uh, people to assist law enforcement. Uh, one thing people have a tendency to forget is there's a tremendous amount of liability attached to um, trying to act like a police officer or act like a state trooper and, and detaining somebody. Uh, you, you've got to understand the laws of arrest. You've got to understand the constitutional rights, the Bill of Rights. You have to understand all that uh, before you can truly intervene in a professional manner. Basic philosophy is that we're a physical deterrent to crime, that we do want to entrench ourselves in neighborhoods and try to inf you know, influence people and teach people how to be more careful and able-bodied and possibly become a guardian angel. We were not sure we were ready to join, so we decided to explore self-defense. We have had a lot more calls for self-defense. I think everybody has the right to protect themselves and should have some knowledge in how to protect themselves. My job is a martial arts instructor. <laughs> but it goes much beyond the punches and kicks. Uh, for the children's classes, we reinforce self-control, self-discipline, respect. They are here to learn the martial arts. So our program is very highly geared for self-defense. How to use the self-defense out in the street, how the theories of the martial arts applies to everyday life. Who should be in charge of public safety? Do you think it's a role of the government, of individuals, or? Of I think it, it takes a team effort. You know, we have to have some laws, um, and we have to have people enforcing those laws. Approach, okay. One, reach up, this hand comes up, and throw. I don't believe it's good for the public to take the law into their own hands. When you hit, you go through. I believe it takes a group effort, a team effort, for public safety. Whatever you do.
were having a lot of fun, but we remember to stay focused on our assignment. Budget cuts still have a real impact on New Haven and other cities. Budget cuts have affected everyone. Um, we're down below minimum strength of troopers that, uh, that we can have by law or should have by law. Because we're trying to squeeze every, every bit of work we can out of every dollar we spend. Ultimately, public safety is everyone's responsibility. Yeah, 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 yeah